Frank here from Designer Frenchie World. Um, you can find us on Instagram at Designer Frenchie World. Or you can call or text us if you have any questions. 201-878-1338. Today I'm going to be showing you how we make the puppy mush for our French Bulldog puppies. I'll show you the stuff that we use. The Purina Pro Clam puppy under one years old. And we're also going to use this puppy child Purina Pro Clam also. First, we're going to get this opened up. First thing we're going to do. Okay. So, I recommend having a bowl, something to mix it with, and a blender. <clears throat> because the puppies, when they're, they start mush at about three weeks old, and up until the time they get to, let's say about eight weeks, they can't really chew hard items, so you have to blend it to get it mushed down. You want a good blender, like the, you know, some of the cheaper blenders, they're not strong enough to like, you know, blend it in good. Um, so the first thing we do is, first thing I do is, in my bowl, I'm gonna put some of my banana protein in my bowl. Depending on how much mush you need to make. So, I got eight puppies, so I gotta make a good amount. Then the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add water. You don't wanna add too much water, just enough. Show closer so they can see how much water I got in there. So, I don't have too much water, just enough that um, all the pieces of kibble can get wet and stuff like that. What I'm gonna do now is, I'm just really mixing it around, so to soften it up before I put it in a blender. That's all I'm gonna be doing. Mixing it up to soften it up before it goes in a blender. And when it goes in a blender, you're also gonna use more water again before it goes in a blender. Might need a second bowl, so I'm gonna grab one right now. Probably definitely gonna need a second bowl. So grab a second bowl now. Okay. Now put some water in here. Add some water in the base at the bottom. Then what I'm going to do is, I'm going to start putting some in here. You don't have to do it all at once. And make sure there's water <clears throat> in the blender because it will thicken up while it's in there. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on low. Then I'm going to switch it to medium. And then I'll put it on high for a little bit. Because depending on how much mush you make, you want to start putting your mush into your bigger bowl, of course. So, see 
kind of texture we got going on in here. So this is the kind of texture you want. It's nice and thick, hard to pour. So I'm gonna actually have to take this part of the window out. Sometimes what I even do, if I'm being honest with you guys, is if it's real thick, you can even add more water. If it's real thick, you can even add more water. I'll even show you guys how I do that. Get this on here correctly. So if it's real thick, how it was there, because I'm also gonna mix this in here, which is real thick. So if it's thick, you can add more water. technical difficulties here. Okay, there we go. And start the process all over, start on low. a nice texture right here nice and pourable this is a very nice texture right here this is the texture you want right here this is the texture we're looking for nice soft but it's not gonna get stuck puppies are not gonna choke on it Once you do that, then you can feed them in their bowl. I already, um, the next thing I do is I mix this in here. You know, I'll show you guys how I add that in there. Very simple. So, again, Korean a plow plan. Um, this one is chicken and rice entree. Flavor doesn't really matter. Puppies, they, they eat it all. When you put this in here, it kind of changes the color and the texture of it. Thickens it up just a little bit, but again, they are very small pieces. The puppies can easily, easily digest it. When you mix this in here, make sure you break it down the best you could. Try not to be lazy with it. Sometimes I use two of them. All the pins, and you can use just the um. Show them this again. You can use just this. That's that. That's okay. Also, this is optional. I like to use it, but this is optional. This is okay by itself. This is optional. I like to use it, but it's optional. You do not have to use this. Another thing I like to do is, I usually put one squirt of this in here. This is salmon oil. Um, I'm breeding French Bulldogs. You know, different people breed different dogs. French Bulldogs, this is excellent for their coat. Um, this is good for all ages. It's not like your dog has to be a certain age before you can use this. So I just put a squirt of that in there and mix that in there. You know. Natural salmon oil, you know, you don't want anything with any additives in it. Just all that is is salmon oil. Excellent for the French Bulldogs coat. I even use that on my um, older Frenchies also. They love it, so I love it. Now, I'm showing you guys this video, but I had made some mush earlier today. And it's a little darker because I used multiple of these but i have eight puppies and when i feed them this they love it i'm actually going to show you guys my feeding right now so you guys can follow me to see how i feed
feed on the puppies. These are the puppies in here, nice and hungry, waiting very patiently to eat. Now while they're eating, I'm gonna change their, their bedding down there while they're eating and stuff like that. So. I'll put them in an the area where all of them could fit and you know, they could get around and eat it. And then the intervals of twos, I'll put them in here. You can stay, keep the camera right there. I'll bring them in here so you can watch them too. These two handsome fellas. These guys are excellent feeders. These other two handsome fellas. Gotta show you guys all my handsome babies. No chinks. Chinks, get out of there. This is my boy Chinks right here. Black Mirror try with 10 points. It's my baby boy right here. He's a good boy. Good boy. He wants to play with them, but they're too small. He doesn't know how. To... Look at these two beauties. This is a form mural female. She's real feisty. She was the runt. She gained weight very nicely. And this boy right here, calm boy, he's a lilac mural. Beautiful. Beautiful boy, lilac Nero. And that's pretty much it, guys. You know, I don't want to keep you guys on here too long. I wanted to keep the video under 10 minutes, but we're going on 13 minutes right now. That's how I make the mush. And while I do that, I clean the dog's bedding. It's eight of them. I had a very large litter. This is a very, very large litter for a French Bulldog. So most people with Frenchies, you know, won't have to feed this many, so I have an extra large feeding bowl. Um, I feed them. It's about 6.30 in the morning. Wake up, I feed them. They'll all use the bathroom. They'll do their number two after that. So while they're feeding, I'm going to clean their bedding. When they finish, they'll start to scatter off, do their number two. I clean that up. I put them back in the fresh um, bedding. And then... In a couple of hours, I give them the same bowl after I clean it out, and I give them some water, and they'll guzzle the water down. And that's usually how I do it before I give them their night feeding. So, again, I'm Frank with Designer Frenchie World on Instagram at Designer Frenchie World, spelled normally. And you can call in Texas anytime if you have any questions, 201 878 1338. If you guys like the video, you can like, comment, subscribe, and we'll be posting more videos soon. Thank you, guys.